Hello and welcome to another one of these ADD videos. Today we're going to look at an example of a volume of solid revolution. Quick refresher. The concept is we're going to do the outer area minus the inner cross-sectional area. In each case, you, we're going to get some sort of circular pattern. It's either going to be a disk. If it's only one function that's being rotated like this square root of x, but if we've got an inner function as well, we're going to create a hole in that disk, and it's going to be a washer. Okay, so uh, in this case, I'm just going to do the example that I did in the concept video. The lines were uh, y equals the square root of x, y equals zero, the x-axis. x equals 9. Alright, so concept was, I'm going to zoom in here, so I can have a little bit more space. There. Uh, we, we're going to have uh, the integral of the area, and since it's rotating about the x-axis, dx. Well, I think I zoomed in a little too much. Let's zoom out. Uh, in this case, we have the outer radius is going to be the root x. So it would be pi. Do you guys see the circle? If I take a cross-sectional area of this bowl and get that circle. So uh, it would be pi r, which is going to be root x squared, integrated, and it'd be from what? 0 to 9. And don't forget the dx. So all you do is you square it. The pi comes out the front. Integral of x is x squared. Over 2. Plug in your bounds, and we're going to have pi times 81 over 2 minus 0 over 2, which is 0, so we have 81 pi over 2. Alright, now let's take that same shape and rotate it about the y-axis. What would happen then? Here's my shape. I would get that upside down symbol shape that I showed you in the concept video if you've already seen that one. And uh, now, because we're rotating about the y axis, our integral needs to be in the form of a of y dy. So here we're going to have the outer radius is still formed by y equals x squared, but we now need it in terms of x equals, so we square root both sides, and we get, oh, I'm sorry, it's a complete mistake, isn't it? Those of you that cut on and were having a little meltdown, good, you're paying attention. Those of you that didn't, pay closer attention. So uh, the problem was I picked the wrong function should have been y equals square root of x, not x squared. And uh, when I solve for x, I can square both sides to get rid of that radical. The opposite of square root is squared. And then I get y squared equals x. So that's my outer radius now. Okay, because we're doing it across the Uh, all right, so when we set up our integral, what are we going to get? We're going to get the integral from 0 to what's the top bound? Well, when x equaled 9, what was y? Well, you get plus or minus 3. 
when you solve that one. Oh no, actually you don't you didn't square root both sides, you just taking the square root. So just be three. And then you get that, right? Because we're on the top half. Uh, now we're gonna plug in our function and the pi radius squared. Radius we said was y squared. And that needs to be squared from the formula dy. So now when we integrate, pull out the pi, y to the fourth dy, and then we get pi comes down, y to the fifth over five, minus zero, right? But that's evaluated between three and zero. Sorry, I need to do it properly. So three to the fifth will be what? 243, is that right? 3 to the 4th is 81 times 3 is 243. I'm going to go with that answer. Those of you with the calculator can check that. And that would be your volume. Alright? So, it all depends on what you're rotating about. So, those are the basic disk examples. Make sure you check out the washer examples where there's more than one function as well. Hope this has clarified any confusion that you might have. The main key is to practice, practice, practice. Thank you and have a nice day.